okay, a couple of slides. Um, okay, global media monitoring, right? Um, uh, basically, what are the, let's say, key questions we would like to uh, answer, right? Uh, if we want to observe, uh, well, the data through media, and media in this sense would be just uh, the sensor of what's happening in the world. Uh, and if we talk about mainstream media, this would mean like what is newsworthy, right? So these are sensors of newsworthy information about the world, uh, which uh, basically means uh, what's what what's relevant uh, for the people in general, right? So the first question is where to get this data, right? So we'll touch a little bit on this. Uh, then what's extractable from media, huh? uh, from media documents, right? Not like from Twitter in this case, as Stan was telling us before, but uh, from like more like media documents. And this would touch uh, more like uh, topics closer to what Danny was uh, telling us uh, in the previous talk. Then, of course, information is... Uh, in many languages, right? How to connect information across the languages, uh, in particular in, in real time, right? And uh, if we talk about uh, structuring the information about the world, what is an event? What is the atomic element which we would like to uh, uh, create pretty much in real time and expose to the user, right? And of course, how to show this fairly complex information uh, to the users. Okay, I'll show like uh, three three demos. So these are on these three links, uh, which you will uh, see later. Um, and uh, maybe uh, uh, I can show first a quick uh, infrastructure or architecture of the uh, system. So on the left side, we we are ingesting mainstream news from uh, well many, uh, as you will see, over hundred thousand. Publishers across the world, so mainstream news and uh, blogs, right? And then with this information, we do many things. We will uh, uh, touch some of them, right? So semantic annotation, extracting dates, cross-lingual matching. Uh, we need to detect du duplicates because many, um, many of this, let's say, uh, news information is just duplicated. Uh, clustering, event formation. Um, and uh, then event information extraction and also identifying uh, contextualizing events. And so all this is like uh, uh, the system which we call event registry, uh, which has then API and uh, UI. So why the name event registry? Well, we have many registries in the world, registries of people, companies, uh, all sorts of things, but not necessarily events or news news events, right? So that's why we picked that uh, name. Um, okay, maybe uh, first uh, we can touch uh, uh, quickly on how to collect uh, media data. So I'll show one quick way where you can get at least uh, um, anchors um, or lists of publishers. There are many ways, but this one uh, seems like uh, fairly uh, useful. Uh, so Wikipedia has one nice page, which is which is list of newspapers, which is structured across the uh, across the continents. So each continent has countries. Each country has uh, uh, then list of newspapers. And let's say if we uh, would uh, pick just the for Greece in this case, uh, Athens newspapers, and we have daily political newspapers in Athens, we would get that many of them. So we really deal with a lot of information sources here and for each item here and for each country we would get many many of them right um so uh, this wikipedia page is great source for start uh, but there are other sources right um so uh how we get uh, from a newspaper homepage, which we can get from let's say like page like from wikipedia uh to an article uh okay this is, a, let's say, New York Times, right? This is HTML, and uh, typically we need to search for this RSS feed. So this is the, the only standardized way, pretty much, which we have these days, uh, which publishers use so that they expose their content in a fairly structured way. Uh, it's true that this is total um, uh, Wild West. Uh, once you get into this RSS, not many of them actually... Uh, are uh, really standardized. So we need to deal with many um, 
uh, exceptions, right, or irregularities, and so on. Um, and out of this, we get the the page, right? Well, this is now the where uh, the fun starts, right? So the page, of course, needs to be cleaned. Where is the content on the page? Usually, the content is actually um, only the minor part of the page. Uh, so, uh, but I won't go too much into de this detail. So uh, we can do this uh, cleaning. Um, okay, just uh, this is another example. These are just newspapers, news publishers from Rio de Janeiro, for instance. Uh, many of them, right? Okay, but uh, let me show you live how this uh, system works on collecting uh, uh, news in real time. Uh, so roughly we have in the system 150,000 mainstream publishers uh, and uh, high quality blogs. Uh, this would mean mostly RSS feeds, but also uh, many special tracks, uh, special feeds. So even if the site wouldn't have RSS feed, we can um, uh, deal with this. Uh, per day, we would collect something like 800,000 articles and blogs, and half of these are in English and the rest are in, well, different languages. Let me show how this works uh, uh, in uh, real time. So now you will see this is more like the developer side. So here on the left side, you see the articles which are coming uh, right now at this moment um, uh, through the feed. Uh, um, and uh, you see they're coming in all different languages, right? Uh, uh, so it uh, can be English or uh, pretty much anything else. Uh, let's uh, wait for some... Uh, uh, content... Uh, 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 which we will uh, uh, then uh, put in a uh, further uh, in a in a pipeline, right? Uh, so this is roughly ten articles we set per second, right? Uh, good. Um, um, if I go back now to the um, uh, slides, uh, so next uh, we have uh, uh, actually I can uh, I can check uh, on. Uh, for instance, one random article which comes through the wire. So this would be probably Arabic, right? Uh, uh, just uh, so basically, we uh, are this. So let's say um, this is probably Hindi or one of these languages. So this is what we get, right? So uh, we get uh, when typically ugly HTML with lots of uh, ads and uh, boilerplates and so on and we need to clean we need to clean this content out so in this particular case this would be the the content which we extract right so this would be the title and uh, uh, this is the content right and the article itself is uh, uh, annotated with uh, lots of uh, metadata so this is pretty much what we get from the scraper uh, and the key is really this piece of information, which uh, is then pushed further in a pipeline. Right? Um, okay, let's go back a little bit uh, to slides. Oh, yeah. Um, so now the next thing uh, uh, we need to deal with um, um, uh, languages, right? So in this particular case, we have uh, language which is likely Hindi, but we, we are not entirely sure, right? Um, uh, so, uh, but the point, if we want to deal with not just one or 10 languages, right, we want to deal with, I don't know, 100 languages, right, maybe even more languages than uh, Google Translate would have. So in machine translation, we know it's uh, expensive in terms of uh, processing and also in terms of money, right? So machine translation is not a good idea, right? So what else can we do so that we put all the documents in different languages on the same denominator? Uh, so for this, we developed a tool, which is, uh, again, kind of uh, linked to, to some degree to uh, uh, Wikipedia. Uh, it's called Wikifier, uh, wikifier.org. Uh, so the tool, this is, again, um, kind of just, uh, we use it, obviously, as a web service. Um, so here we drop in a piece of text in pretty much any language. And what the Wikifier does uh, it well, detects the language. This is not that hard. So in this case, it's Hindi. And annotates uh, pretty much all the segments in the text 
and links it uh, links these segments to um, Wikipedia uh, category or concepts uh, really. So in this particular case, right? So this particular concept is uh, uh, well uh, after using cross-lingual link in Wikipedia, it's uh, Panipat. Okay, what is Panipat? Okay, we can see here. So we use uh, Wikidata. Uh, Wikidata is a knowledge graph, which uh, uh, Danny was one of the co-authors uh, uh, some years ago. So in this case, we see that this Panipat is actually human. It's a place, right? It's human settlement, region, and so on, right? Uh, this would uh, be concept for attention. This is hypertension uh, and and so on so we see this would be concept for school right in this particular language so each document in this way is converted in a set of wikipedia concepts and in the native language and then using these cross-lingual links uh, we transform this into english and this is like a canonical representation for each of the uh, documents uh, let me show you now um, uh, maybe just a few other functions of this uh, Wikifier, right? Uh, I'll show uh, one random English article, so from Syrian conflict. Uh, so where we drop in piece of text, again, we will get um, a set of uh, Wikipedia uh, concepts, right? But for instance, we have also concepts like this, Mr. Carey. Mr. Carey appears in a, as a part of text. And now what to say about this Mr. Carey? Who is this Mr. Carey, right? Uh, so uh, if uh, the word Carey appears, um, so Wikipedia would have uh, many candidates for this, like Carey GA, County Carey, John Carey, Carey Airport, uh, Carey Cattle, and many, many more, right? Which one out of this is the right one? Right, so this is now disambiguation, right? Um, and so Wikifier does also disambiguation based on the context, right? So in this particular case, uh, in this particular case, the context is the text itself and the way how each of these candidate concepts appear in Wikipedia. But we use not the language, but we use the network structure of Wikipedia for uh, disambiguation. This works very well and in particular works very fast. So uh, on average, we use like a uh, few hundreds of a second for per, per document for this, right? Uh, in this particular case, this Mr. Carey is John Carey based on the context, which is uh, correct, right? Um, I won't go too much into these details, um, uh, but this invocation is um, uh, kind of one important uh, element, um, uh, which makes us, let's say, uh, which this... Uh, um, differentiates like apple as a company apple as a fruit or apple of uh, anything else right uh, um, uh, so this is uh, this in that sense this invocation would uh, is uh, critical okay let's go uh, further so now we had uh, uh, we saw how to collect the data we saw how to uh, in, uh, clean the HTML files in the clean text and how to um, uh, transform the text into some kind of canonical form, uh, which is uh, really a vector of uh, Wikipedia concepts. Right? Now, the next thing is how to form uh, events. Uh, now, what is an event uh, uh, in uh, our case, right? So, uh, what is an event? So the, uh, in the literature, uh, the event or the news event uh, would usually appear under several definitions. But uh, the most practical question is what definition is computationally feasible, especially for real-time processing, right? Uh, in general, in an event, we can say it's something which sticks out from the rest of information. Right, uh, something which has some densi densification of data points if each document is a data point. Right, uh, it can be if we talk about Twitter, it could be significant change in of distribution. Right, this could be one definition uh, as well. So in practice, in our case, uh, uh, a doc an, an event could be a cluster of documents which pretty much talk about uh, uh, the same uh, uh, about the same thing. Right. Um, uh, let me skip this. Uh, so uh, now each uh, uh, event in our case would have uh, several dimensions, right? 
one dimension is a topical dimension. So this is where we uh, ask the question, question what? So what, what the con what's the content of the event, right? This would typically mean uh, keywords, right? Uh, the text itself, right? Then we have social dimension. Um, so is the question who? So which entities are mentioned? So this would be about name entities. Then temporal aspect, when? when we get the document right so this would be temporal distribution then we have a geographical uh, aspect so where the event uh, is taking place right so this would be location then we have publisher aspect so who is reporting uh, uh, about particular event of course typically we would get many many publishers we will see this later uh, and sentiment is also uh, pretty re relevant these days so uh, <coughs> uh, sentiment or bias the emotional signals which an event uh, uh, is having uh, so, um, uh, and this uh, extracting this information is uh, certainly feasible, and uh, uh, using this, uh, uh, we can build some kind of uh, scalable system. So, this is an example, right, for an event uh, uh, where we would have uh, all these questions. So, uh, what, who, when, uh, where, and uh, a few more, which we will see in, um, um, in live now. Okay, let's go now to the system. Uh, uh, so the system is called eventregistry.org. Uh, uh, if you register, you get some, uh, you can use it to some degree, but uh, uh, for a little bit more, you, you, you need to uh, uh, at least uh, pay some fee, right? Uh, but for research, usually we, we are very uh, open. Um, so, uh, so this is now live picture. What's happening right now? So, on the right side, if articles are coming in. They're coming slowly. Then uh, you saw before. Uh, usually, we would get like 10, 10 articles per second. So this is just uh, uh, slowed down a little bit. And now each article which comes from the wire, either it starts a new event. It's the first article about. Uh, uh, about that particular event or is attached to one particular uh, already existing event, right? Uh, uh, it's either yeah event detection or topic tracking. So this is one uh, 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 area which used to be popular. So here, in this particular case, we see uh, one event uh, for which we collected already 2,000 2, articles. Okay, let's click on that particular event. This is happening right now. Uh, uh, so some events would have just maybe one or few articles, but some can really be uh, 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 pretty big. So, well, the title is, I don't even know the story, but uh, Firefighter nine, nine year old and teens give power testimony. Okay. It happens in Minneapolis. So we extract the location when. So it happened, uh, seems like a uh, day or two ago. Um, and this is like... Uh, 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 sh first paragraphs or first sentences of the centered article uh, of the cluster. Now, for this particular uh, event, uh, we collected uh, over 2,000 articles, mostly in English, but also in German, Spanish, Catalan, Portuguese, and so on, right? Um, so let's say we would um, uh, check like... Uh, Russian, right? So we would get Russian articles on that uh, particular thing, right? Uh, uh, let's go back to English. Uh, so now, uh, what you see here, so uh, the interface allows you to to answer these questions, which I said before: what, uh, who, when, and so on, right? So uh, let me show first these uh, questions. Uh, um, so this is a question: who, right? So this is the um, uh, the question uh, who. Uh, so this would be mostly name entities uh, from these two thousand articles, right? Uh, then this would be the question what, right? Uh, uh, this would be mostly topics. So here I see we made a mistake. George Floyd should be really on in the other, but could be that uh, is the reason that in Wikidata it's not labeled properly. So it's about murder, police, and so on. You know, uh, what happened, like, uh, about George Floyd murder, right? So now we answered, uh, so uh, who and what, right? So then we have uh, temporal, right, uh, questions. So this is, this event is still happening, right? 
So the first information was uh, like two days ago. So this were the first articles. And then, uh, well, the English uh, speaking uh, really picked up. This was the night. Uh, and this is still being reported, right? Uh, this is English language. Uh, uh, this bottom line uh, lines are other uh, languages. So the size of the circle means that this particular article uh, was shared on social media more than the others, right? So this is article from CNN. This would be also CNN, and but also others, right? So this is like the temporal uh, question. And uh, uh, okay, we can uh, do a couple of other things. I will. Um, just uh, show you also um, the uh, putting an event in a context, right? So an event is never isolated thing, right? It's always, uh, um, uh, uh, there's always some context around that particular event. And what you see here, it's a timeline, right? Uh, where you can see pretty much the whole, uh, 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 the whole story probably about uh, George Floyd, right? Uh, uh, so this is the timeline of, uh, where our uh, our event is uh, pretty much uh, uh, at the end, right? So this is one view uh, where we were checking one particular uh, event. Now let's go to uh, uh, another uh, uh, view where uh, we would uh, uh, check uh, um, uh, not just one event, but where we would check many events, where we would try to see uh, the whole, uh, uh, let's say, area. Yeah? So in this case, let's uh, pick one uh, globally relevant topic, uh, uh, Ebola. I mean, we can check also for Corona, but Corona is really pretty much everything uh, these days. Uh, uh, so Ebola virus, right? So we put uh, here a query, Ebola virus. So this is the conceptual query. It's not a keyword like in Google, right? But it's a concept. So. Uh, the system would take care that uh, this Ebola virus using Wikidata, right, uh, uh, will be properly translated into Chinese or any other uh, language, however, in whatever way uh, Ebola is uh, named there. So we say, uh, uh, we put this for the full period we have, uh, and we would see. So, okay. So the system said, okay, for on Ebola, I have 620,000 uh, articles, okay? Now, if we compress these articles, because some articles talk about the same same events, uh, if we compress this into events, we would get 28,000 uh, events about Ebola, okay? Now, again, we can ask questions like uh, who, what, uh, and the rest, so let's, uh, let's check a bit. Um, so, uh, mm, uh, so here we have the question who, right? So this would be the entities, West Africa, US, WHO, Africa, Liberia, and, and so on. So these are the main, the key entities when uh, related to Ebola. Non-entities, so this would be the question what? So virus, infection, epidemic, and, and uh, other related terms. So this is like a quick profile. Then we can go to timeline, right? So timeline would be when Ebola related events were happening. So here you see 2014, this was the outbreak, right? Uh, and But Ebola never disappeared from uh, the news. Recently, it reappeared a little bit uh, in the context of COVID as well. That's why it's a little bit uh, higher up here. So um, um, yeah, so this is the question when. Then the question where, because we for each event, we extract also the location where it happens, right? Uh, uh, you see the uh well world map right and we can uh zoom in um let's say in in africa in this particular case and we would see closer we get more accurately we would see the events uh um events where they happened related to ebola right so this is the event locations then um the questions by whom right so uh new sources which are covering ebola related events uh, so just a second uh so here we would see allafrica.com daily mail and others right so this is the uh the top sources which are covering particular topic right then we see sentiment right so ebola okay we cannot expect really the the very positive sentiment mostly it's very negative sentiment but also negative sentiment 
neutral and a little bit of positive sentiment. Let's say these days, uh, recently I got a question, if I can show what can be positive about Ebola, okay? We can click here and uh, let's see what could be possibly positive news about Ebola. Russia registers most effective drug for uh, Ebola, right? Okay, Th this is positive news, right? Merck receives FDA approval for Ebola vaccine. Okay, there are some positive news uh, here as well, right? Okay, uh, uh, then we have, uh, okay, concept graph because uh, all the information is structured, right? So we can relate, uh, we can relate uh, concepts in uh, different uh, ways. Um, so here we would see for some users, this, 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 this graph is fairly informative and uh, uh, we, we can also see pretty much the, uh, what's kind of relationship between uh, two concepts. So this is one, one alternative view. Um, and uh, let me show you the last. Uh, so uh, we also categorize uh, all the events into uh, a taxonomy. Um, in this particular case, we use uh, open directory. So uh, demos.org, if you remember. Uh, it's not maintained, but still it's um, a fairly useful uh, classifier. Uh, not sure why this is taking now so much time. So here, uh, remember, we have uh, 28,000 uh, events about Ebola, which are all categorized into, well, different top level categories. This would be health, society, business and uh, others, right? Health, it's most of them, like 46%. Condition diseases, infectious diseases would be 10% of all events. But on the other side, you see, it's also business related events, right? About Ebola, business, investing, uh, stocks and bonds, right? So we can check uh, with a click, we get uh, news, uh, which are uh, Ebola related news, which are uh, uh, related to stocks and trading, right? Uh, so um, uh, let's say Hazmat suit stocks up 50% on Ebola fears, right? So this was an, from 2014, there were news how Ebola affects markets as well. Right? So these are uh, another uh, view. Uh, so there are many more functions uh, inside the system. I just wanted to show briefly uh, how uh, uh, how this uh, such a system can be done. Uh, uh, you're welcome to use it um, or check it. Uh, what's also relevant, everything what I showed uh, 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 is also available through API. Uh, 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 let me show this. Um, so this is a GitHub repository where uh, you can uh, um, you, you see that it's uh, fairly simple. Let's say uh, in few lines of code you get in this particular case uh, uh, all articles on uh, with a keyword Tesla, for instance, or here uh, with a George Clooney as a Wikipedia concept. Uh, so it's everything is few line example and you examples and you 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 can get pretty much. Uh, real-time information on everything what's being published pretty much in around the world in all the languages um, okay uh, so much maybe just to conclude um, so what we are working on right now uh, so uh, one topic which we do is uh, analyzing these global social dynamics um, uh, then event prediction and these causal relationships within uh, this uh, um uh, event sequences right so this seems like very interesting topic and also micro reading uh approaching to this common sense understanding of individual documents so this is one topic which is uh, fairly close to what uh danny was uh telling us uh, before okay um so much uh from uh, uh my side 